Okay, today we're going to um, look at the separation of iron and copper from zinc. I have the solution that was saved from procedure 1C. To that, I'm going to add 6 molar sodium hydroxide. I'm going to test the pH with a piece of litmus paper to make sure it is basic. It is not basic, so I'm going to add some more sodium hydroxide. Okay, so it is basic. I'm going to add three more drops and then of sodium hydroxide and then put it in the hot water bath. It is going to sit in the hot water bath for three minutes. Okay, I'm going to take the test tube out of the hot water bath and show you what we have and then centrifuge it. Okay, so now I'm going to separate the solution from the precipitant um, by decanting. I'm going to save the solution for procedure number five. So I have it labeled. I'm going to save that for procedure number five. I'm going to take the precipitant and wash it with a mixture of 10 drops of sodium hydroxide and 10 drops of water. Okay, so I'm going to centrifuge that again. Okay, after centrifuging with the, uh, the wash water, The final step here is I'm going to um, decant away the, the wash water and save this precipitant that's at the bottom. I'm going to save that for step number three. 